This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this video, we will be showing you how to use GIMP to get a proper transparency background with any photo. That will make it easier to make use of the chroma key in KDN Live while using title clips to bring in the photo and using keyframes to set graphics and speed. Notice these before and after photos, both edited using GIMP, pure black and white seems to be the easiest to utilize in KDN Live while using the chroma key. Bring up GIMP and import your photo Grab the Lasso tool, pick a selection of the photo that appears would be your best point to string the lasso or trace. In GIMP, while lassoing, the closer you can lasso, the better this will, this will be and will mean less cleanup. And if you can lasso without stopping, the less layer photos you will have in the right panel of GIMP. Once you have, sat, have finished your lasso, move your mouse to the lower left hand corner and click the square icon. This will cover the background in red, in a red color, in your photo in GIMP. This is where you should zoom to about 300. I did not, leaving my example a little crude. Now grab the pencil in GIMP, fill in the area your lasso did not. This pushes the lasso closer. Once you are done and satisfied with your work, move your mouse to the bottom left hand corner. Click the square once again. This time uh, to remove the red. No red. Notice how your lasso is closer to your photo in GIMP. In the GIMP toolbar, go to Edit, then click Copy. Then go to the toolbar again. Click File, then click New. Once the box appears, Click on Advanced Options. Go down to where it says Background Color. And click to expand the menu. Go to Transparency and click, then click OK for this window. Once the new window appears in GIMP, maximize the window for proper title bar use. Then go to Edit and click Paste. Once this is done, you can export or turn your transparency to black by using the bucket fill. Then in GIMP, Go to the file and click Save for the web. Once at this point, you will see a preview of how good you did. If satisfied, choose how you wish to save. Then where you want to save your photo and click Save. Import your photo into Kadian Live title clip, then downsize the photo. I'm using around 700 for my size. Place your photo where you would like it to appear in the title clip. 
Then set the duration. I chose 15 seconds. And then click OK. Move the title clip to the Cadian Live timeline. Click on Effects. Bring up the chroma key. Drag and drop it into the title into your title clip. Click the add click the color bar in chroma in the chroma key effect. Being we are or being we have white, we will use black as the canceling color, which provides the see-through feature while using white for the back, black background. Adjust the variance. Adjusting the variance is what brings it into play. As you can see, I will use a zero variance for this example in KDN Live. Now in KDN Live, click on your fine, click the plus symbol to add a new keyframe, Grab the crosshair in the project window, dragging your photo to the proper operation you prefer. Then adjust your speed setting for the keyframe by dragging the blue bubble in the Cadian Live a fine window. Then review, even if it is choppy, this will clear up during render. If you're satisfied with the operation of your keyframe setting, click back on the Eurofine on the Cadian Live timeline and add another keyframe. Make all the adjustments, movements, position, speed, and go ahead and review your work again in Cadian Live. Once satisfied, we can add another keyframe. Once again, click on your Eurofine. There is a caution. When placing speed settings, as you will see in Cadian Live, while adding this next keyframe, I set one, on, one bubble directly on top of the other. If you do this in Cadian Live, you will lose all sight of your work, as you will see in the playback. To fix this, just move one bubble off of the other. The rest of this video is both of my rendered projects. The first was with the black background with no animation. The second is with the white background and animation. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please feel free to comment, like, and become a subscriber. And by all means, visit us at our website at httpgrepax.com. The intro and extra to this video was provided by Alex Abayu one from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.